my name is Tana, and welcome back to another episode of Wear and Care, where we show you the products that we rent out on mountainous.com and help you get geared up for your mountain adventures. Recently, we started carrying snow safety gear for backcountry skiing, riding, and for snowmobiling. And today, we're going to show you the basic functions of the Peeps Jetforce Avalanche Airbag System. If you're not familiar with avalanche bags, or avi packs as many people call them, the concept is pretty simple. It's a backpack with a massive balloon inside that inflates when you pull a handle. The pack is designed to keep you floating on top of the snow in a slide instead of getting buried under it. We're super excited about carrying Jet Force bags because they actually use a battery-powered fan system. And unlike bags with a canister, the electric fan allows us to ship these bags across the country with the rest of our gear. It also means that our renters can deploy the bag multiple times without having to refill the canister, and you can practice with it at home. Now, before I get started, it's important to mention that an airbag is not a replacement for a beacon shovel and probe. If you're riding in the mountains, everyone in your party should have these three pieces of equipment on their person. So, are you ready to practice? Let's give it a go. Step one, you're gonna check to make sure that the bag is fully charged by pressing the red button on the bottom of the handle. You don't have to hold it for more than a second or two. Four lights means that it's fully charged, and if you see less than three blue lights, you need to charge it before you head out for the day. Step two, you're gonna arm the bag by pressing and holding the red button on the handle for three to five seconds. You'll know that it's been activated when you hear the fan. And this is the fan doing its self-diagnostics check. Look for a green flashing light on the handle, and this light is your only signal that the bag is armed and ready to go. All right, now for the fun part. Step three, find an open space in your house with plenty of room behind you and above your head, and pull the handle. Once the bag inflates, the fan will keep running for three minutes, and after three minutes, it reverses and sucks all the air out, which would leave an air pocket in the event of a burial. Now, if you're practicing, you may not want to wait three minutes, so we've actually set up our rental bags with a deflate option. So step four, you disengage the fan system by holding the red button for about five seconds or until you hear the fan reverse, and it's gonna suck all of the air out so that you can repack it. Step five, once the bag has been completely deflated, pack it back into the pocket. It doesn't need to be folded in any special way. If there's still some air left in the bag, there's a manual release button on the right side. Then find the green zipper, bring it to the other side of the bag, and zip the compartment completely, making sure that the zipper tab is in the little green pocket. The final step, step six, is to tuck this last panel in so that the zipper is protected, making sure that the plastic clip is secured. So now that you've practiced deploying and repacking, let's just do a quick recap of the steps you need to take before you go riding. One, check battery levels by pushing the button for one second. You're looking for four blue lights and you're doing this at home before you head out for the day. Step two, arm the bag by pushing the red button for three to five seconds until you hear the fan. You're looking for a flashing green light, and you're doing this step in the parking lot before you venture into avalanche terrain. And then finally, step three, at the end of the day, push the button for another three to five seconds until you see flashing red lights and hear three short chirps. And that is how you operate a Peeps Jet Force bag. So now we'd love to hear from you. If you do a test run at home, put a video of it up on Facebook or Instagram and tag us. We'd love to see you practicing with your safety gear. If you have questions, find this video over on mountainist.com where the best conversations happen and leave us a comment. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Wear and Care and we'll see you next time.